What's up everybody? This is Motor Merc coming to you live from sunny Southern California. I uh, just got out of the DMV and I was thinking maybe today I ought to do a raw post without any kind of post processing on the video or any kind of editing or anything and I'm gonna explain why I want to do that. Uh, the reason is uh, and also, the reason I haven't been posting much lately in general is because I've just been so busy. And it's not that I haven't had time to record videos, I obviously do. I mean, every time I ride I have a chance to record a video, but I've just been so busy that I haven't had a chance to edit any of the footage that I would be recording. So, uh, I've been hesitant to post anything up at all because I feel like my claim to fame, such as it is, uh, on my channel, what sets me apart from other vloggers is the amount of editing and polish that I put on my videos. I try to make all my videos special. I try to make them all very clean and have really good effects and intros and outros and stuff. And I think it shows and I get a lot of compliments on that. So throwing that away in order to be able to post more videos, I feel like it sort of takes something away from my channel and my brand image, I guess, if you want to think of it as such. But I just feel like it's a, a compromise that I don't typically want to make. But it's been so long since I've posted a video. Or actually I have posted a couple of videos recently. But it's been so sporadic that I feel like I just want to post something up today. So I'm making a raw video to post up. And this is going to be it. It's also going to force me to... Uh, uh, it's going to force me to work through my speech problems, like my public speaking problems, because I typically rely on my editing to make my uh, topic come through clearly. I usually will say the same thing three or four times, treat it as takes, and then edit the video together from those takes. I'll take the best cut and put that in. So I won't be able to do that since this is a raw video. But anyways, just wanted to sort of get that out there because I do feel bad. Uh, not just for you guys, but for myself, that I've been neglecting this hobby of mine that I love, that is important to me. So I sort of just wanted it to, to be out there and be documented, for lack of a better word, why I have been neglecting my channel. So that's why! Oh, what else? Oh, the topic of the day! I just got out of the DMV where I spent three hours of my life that I'll never get back. And the reason that I had to go to the DMV is because uh, I had to re-register this very bike. And the registration paper that they sent me, the license plate number on that paperwork was different than the license plate number that's actually physically on the bike. And I don't know how that could happen, how they can make that kind of a screw up. They sent me a plate that, that doesn't match the registration of the actual bike. Sorry, I had to pay attention to some traffic there. But I don't know how they could have sent me a plate that doesn't match the registration or sent out a registration that doesn't match the plate or whatever it was, whatever the situation was. I don't know how they could have made such a screw up, but it's not something that you can fix over the phone apparently and it's not something that you can fix online and I, I couldn't re-register my bike obviously because I had a plate that didn't match the registration of the vehicle and they're not gonna, you know, that's not gonna fly. So I had to come into the DMV and you know you gotta stand in line for an hour and a half to get a ticket that tells you which next line to stand in for the net, another hour, hour and a half. So I was there for a good three hours to get this sorted out and then when I finally got up to the counter they were like oh yeah by the way you're gonna have to pay for this and uh, something I've been working on lately in my personal life is uh, pushing back when people do things that I think are unjust or when I want something and someone's not giving it to me I try to push back a little bit so when they told me I had to pay for it I challenged them and I said look this was your fault you guys sent the wrong plate out of the wrong registration. I don't know how this could have happened, but it's not my fault. It's your guys' fault. I'm doing everything right. So I fought them on it, and eventually, you know, they had me fill out some little extra paperwork, and I got what I wanted. I got the, the new plate fee waived. So it cost me three hours of my life, but everything is squared away now. So that's good. I can keep riding this bike. 
<sighs> I actually went to the DMV yesterday and I tried to do this and uh, I wasn't able to because the line yesterday was even worse than the line today. It actually came out of the building into the parking lot, down the sidewalk, and into the like out into the street because there were so many people in line. I decided I wasn't going to sit through that. So today, I went into the DMV early. I got there a half hour before they opened, and I was already like maybe 20, 25 people back in the line. But I decided to tough it out because, you know, there's never going to be another time to go when there won't be a line. So I just stuck it out and got done what I needed to get done. And back to your regularly scheduled motor drivel.